Are you a Pakistani pharmacy graduate dreaming of working in the UK? If so, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll guide you step by step on how to turn that dream into reality. From eligibility requirements to registration, training and visas, I'll cover everything you need to know to kickstart your pharmacy career in the UK. Let's begin with the eligibility assessment. Your first step is applying to the General Pharmaceutical Council, GPHC, for the Overseas Pharmacists Assessment Programme, OSPAP. This is a crucial requirement, and the application fee is £687. To apply, you'll need to submit key documents, including your pharmacy degree certificate, academic transcripts, proof of registration in Pakistan and English language test results. Make sure all your documents are in order before applying to avoid delays. Now, let's talk about English language requirements. This is a non-negotiable step, so preparation is key. You'll need to pass either the IELTS academic with an overall score of 7.0 in at least 7.0 in each section, or the pharmacy OET with a minimum grade of B in all sections. These tests are designed to ensure you can communicate effectively in a professional healthcare setting, so don't underestimate their importance. Once you've cleared the eligibility stage, it's time to complete the OSPAP course. This is a one-year postgraduate diploma that equips you with the knowledge and skills needed for UK pharmacy practice. Several universities offer this programme, including Aston University, the University of Brighton, Hertfordshire and Sunderland. Keep in mind that OSPAP courses are often oversubscribed, so apply as early as possible to secure your spot. After completing the OSPAP, you'll move on to Foundation Training, which is a 52-week pre-registration programme. This training must be completed at a GPHC-approved site in England, Scotland or Wales, under the supervision of a qualified tutor. Here's the catch. you need to find your own placement and tutor, so start networking early and reach out to potential employers during your OSPAP year. The next big milestone is the GPHC Registration Assessment Exam. This exam is held twice a year, in June and September and you must pass both papers in a single sitting. You're allowed a maximum of three attempts, so it's essential to prepare thoroughly. This is your final hurdle before becoming a registered pharmacist in the UK. Once you've passed the exam, you can apply for GPHC registration. Remember, you must complete this step within four years of starting your OSPAP. At this stage, you also need to pay the registration fees to officially join the UK pharmacy workforce. Now, let's discuss visa options. Depending on your circumstances, you can apply for a health and care worker visa, a skilled worker visa or, if you're studying OSPAP in the UK, you might qualify for the UK graduate visa. These visa routes are designed to support international professionals like you, so explore your options carefully. Here are some important things to keep in mind. The entire process typically takes a minimum of 2-3 years, so patience and planning are essential. There are also significant costs involved, including course fees, living expenses, and registration fees. Start budgeting early and explore scholarships or funding options offered by universities. Additionally, job hunting should begin during your training period. Many employers actively recruit international pharmacists and even offer visa sponsorships, so don't wait until the last minute to start applying. The job market for pharmacists in the UK is thriving with opportunities in community pharmacies, hospitals, primary care and even emerging roles like prescribing pharmacists. These roles not only offer competitive salaries but also provide a chance to make a real difference in patient care. Let's talk about finances. Beyond the initial application fees, you'll need to budget for your OSPAP course, living expenses and registration fees. Some universities offer scholarships, so be sure to check for funding opportunities. Planning your finances carefully will help you stay focused on your career goals. Here's a quick tip about accommodation. Start looking for housing near your university or training site as early as possible. Many OSPAP students find it helpful to connect with others on the same journey through social media groups or university forums. This can make the transition smoother and help you build a support network. Now, here's something many people overlook. While completing your OSPAP, you can often work part-time in pharmacy-related roles, such as a pharmacy assistant or medicines counter-assistant. 
This not only provides valuable UK pharmacy experience but also helps with living costs. Finally, remember that this journey requires dedication, careful planning, and perseverance. It's a challenging process, but the reward is a fulfilling career in one of the world's most respected healthcare systems. With the right preparation and mindset, you can achieve your goal of becoming a pharmacist in the UK. Find helpful links in the description below for resources, training and career advice to kickstart or grow your journey as a pharmacist in the UK. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more career guidance. Share this video with anyone who's considering a pharmacy career in the UK. Thanks for watching and best of luck on your journey.